Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? Hope all's well out there. I'm cool to myself. You feel me? Let's get right to it, though. So, uh, out here in Illinois, where I reside, they've recently just passed a bill banning assault weapons. Damn! Assault weapons. When they say assault weapons, they're speaking on AK-47s, AR-15s, Dracos. You know what I'm talking about? That type of energy. And uh, not only that, but also magazines. Your magazine can hold over 15 rounds. Uh -huh. You can't have a magazine that holds over 15 rounds. What is that? What is that? Okay, this is where I have a problem. This is where I have a problem, okay? So you're going to ban assault weapons to people who have them legally. But then people who have them illegally will still be able to get them illegally which gives them the ups on somebody who doesn't have one legally because you took them away damn that makes zero sense zero sense and then you turn around and you want to touch the mag size so we got to carry multiple magazines then for what and then that even goes against whatever you trying to do you speaking of the government in illinois whatever you are trying to do by taking away the magazines if we have more magazines it's still more rounds that's not solving anything you see this is more so a punishment from my point of view my opinion this is more so a punishment towards the people who legally own weapons you know like yes i know there has been mass shootings here and there but it's not every day shootings every day so Taking assault weapons is really, in my in my eyes, is not really going to solve much, if little at all. You know, like I just, it ain't right. Cause then also in Illinois, y'all just turned around and tried to pass the Safety Act. The Safety Act, that's when criminals get out of jail with no cash bail, signature. So y'all gonna let criminals out of jail, no cash bail for crazy charges. And then turn around, or that's what y'all wanted to do, but that's been held up. And then turn around, though, and y'all gonna take assault weapons or weapons, period, from not period, because we still keep handguns, but then y'all can turn around and take assault weapons away from people who own them legally? Uh uh, wait nah, a minute. Somebody didn't think this through clearly. No, no, no. Somebody did not think this through clearly. So you mean to tell me? This right here, this handgun right here, right, y'all? I don't want to hold it too high where I'm at. This magazine alone holds 17. This would be considered illegal. Although I bought it legally, it's considered illegal because of the rounds. How many rounds it holds? It holds 17, two over their limit. Now, if I use this one, though, this one only holds 13. Oh, I'm legal now. Come on, man. Knock it off. Knock it off. That ain't right. It's not right. It's bogus. Like, what do y'all think? Is this really, like, supposed to solve something? It's supposed to make people safe or feel safer by taking away their weapons? No. That's ridiculous. So now, there's uh, gun dealers and gun advocates suing Illinois because of the law that they passed. And as well as they should, I salute them. Thank y'all. And I hope it goes through. I hope it goes through. They're saying that it's unconstitutional and it's not going to make anybody safer. It's going to make them feel less safe, shall I say. Like, come on. And they know this, though. They know this. That's just them, that party, trying to cater to their audience. You see, I'm not a politician. I pay attention to politics, but I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I don't... Uh -huh. No, I care, but I'm not riding with neither one of them because it's all be fake and phony mess going on. You know what I mean? These. Damn. Yeah, the bananas. No more. So what do y'all expect? Y'all gonna buy our guns back? And then buying our guns back, y'all ain't even gonna pay us half the price they cost probably. On top of that, what if we got customization to our shit that we had to pay for? Or other pieces we've added to it we had to pay for. Y'all not finna pay for all that. But then I bet you, if they do do a gun buyback, and you don't turn your gun in, they coming to your dough. It's just fucked up. 
that ain't right, man. Like, seriously. Like, I don't know their frame of thought, their thought frame. Like, where's your mental? But it ain't in the right place. And I am happy and glad that it is being fought in court now. Woo! They're trying to at least get them to uh, pause it, suspend it, so they can still sell their weapons. Because gun stores, gun dealers, they've also said that some of them will have to close their businesses. Some of them will have to fire employees because a lot of their inventory or a lot of their purchases come from assault weapons or magazines or guns who hold long magazines or more than 15 rounds, shall I say. This shit ain't cool, it's bogus, it's not right, and I just hope it plays out in court the correct way. It's time to get out of Illinois. Illinois tripping. Like, what sense is that? How can you want to pass a safety act letting criminals out, but then at the same time, you pass a law to where weapons of certain type, they're illegal. Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. That shit is fucking ridiculous, yo. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And you know, you know what's even more crazy about it? What's even more crazy about it? Law enforcement. Law enforcement, some officers, not all, some officers said that they're not even going to enforce that. They're not going to enforce that ban. And why is that? Hmm. Why you think they don't want to enforce that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unjust, huh? But whether you live in Illinois or not, go ahead, give me, give me your thoughts on it. Is it right? Do y'all think it's going to solve something? Or is it bogus? And it ain't right. Because it's many other states, many other states with different gun laws, and they're not as harsh as Illinois. Illinois has some of the harshest laws. They're up there. You know, it's just ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. But whatever. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. Ain't no safety on this Glock. <laughs>